Welcome back to Terminal Garage. Today we're going to be spraying in a bed liner on my little 2000 Suzuki Carry. I've actually already started on this, but I thought, you know what, I better uh, put out a video and show what I've done and maybe somebody else wants to do it. So let's have a, let's have a look. So I've actually already sanded the bed and removed the uh, caps. I don't know if these were factory or not. I don't think so because they looked really crappy these bed rail caps, so I ripped them off. I think they were on with uh, liquid nails or PL adhesive. So I heated them up and removed them. So let's get rid of those. And I, yeah, sanded the rails down, or the bed down here, just rough with my little orbital sander. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna do a little bit of just sanding in the corners, get it all ready for paint. Uh, the also thing I've got to do is I'm going to screw, do a line from the top of the bed rail across to the other side so that the bottom part will be bed liner and the upper part will be just the back of the cab. You know, they, they, these things get beat up. It's, uh, it's a great little truck. just looks a little rough in the back, so spraying in a bed liner will really clean this thing up. So what I'm using is called Shake and Shoot. It's, uh, it's a bed liner looks like it's got a Canadian flag on it, so I don't know if you Americans can get it, but I'm sure all bed liners are fairly similar. This one's kind of nice because it comes with, comes with a gun in here. And then for the product, it's actually, there's uh, four cans of uh, the actual product and one can of the, uh, the, the activator. So what you do is you put a quarter of the can into your product, mix it up, spray it on. If you need more, you pour another quarter of this uh, activator into the next can. So you don't have to do the whole thing. You can just, you know, a quarter at a time, use what you need. And uh, then you maybe have, maybe at the end of it, I should probably have uh, one can of product unused and a quarter can of the activator left, I would think. So yeah. A little bit more sanding to do. I'll catch that on a time lapse and we'll uh, get ready to spray this thing. All right, so sanding is finished. I'm starting to mask it off. I actually rolled this out of the shop, washed it off with uh, soap and water. And uh, while I was at it, I laid plastic down all over the floor so I don't get any overspray on my floor. And I decided I'm gonna do the, the, the tailgate and the bed sides uh, individually, do them separate. Uh, so to remove those, you probably all know that, you just remove, there's one per side, one per side and one for the tailgate, 10 millimeter head bolt. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm just going to start masking this off, cover the whole truck in plastic and uh, spray away. So I've gone around the perimeter of the box, masked it off, got the cab all plasticed off, and now what I'll do is I'll take some plastic and I'll go around, uh, basically kind of make a curtain around there, and then uh, she's ready to paint. All right, I've got it all masked off. She's all dry. Next thing to do is some wax and grease remover. And, uh, and then I'm gonna spray some primer on it because I've got some bare metal in a few spots. I wanna prime it and then we'll be ready to spray the bed liner. All right, just laid down some etching primer for that uh, bare metal. It's all on top of the ribs on the box. Uh, that it got sanded down to, to bare metal. So anywhere there was metal, give it a quick uh, etching primer and this should be ready for bed liner. 
All right, we got everything primed up, sat overnight. I got the heat turned up in here. So what we're gonna do now is start to mix our stuff. I got my Tyvek suit on, respirator. I actually had to shave my beard because you need to have a good fit. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take container A, part A, and uh, I'm gonna fill it up. Uh, a quarter of this catalyst needs to go into that. Still, wipe. And then all you do is shake it up. Okay, that should be good. Take our lid off. Take our gun. And that's all there is to it. Go over and start spraying. The gun's set to between 55 and 65 PSI. Put my gloves on here and we'll go spray this thing. stinky in here but anyway uh yeah it looks great sprays really nice this stuff nice even surface nice texture so uh i'm gonna let it sit for just a few minutes here and then i'm gonna start on asking while it's still a little bit soft uh yeah pretty happy Got her all unmasked. Uh, yeah, turned out pretty damn good. Uh, kind of makes the rest of the truck look crappy. You know, get a beautiful, clean, fresh bed liner sprayed in. The rest of the truck looks kind of chipped up and rusty. But uh, all in all, great results. So now the next thing I got to do is the the rails over there. I'm going to do them separately. So let's let this dry for a few hours. I'll throw this outside and start prepping the uh, tailgate and the bed sides. All right, I got the bed rails and the tailgate all done. Um, they're all masked up, they're sanded. Uh, I've got some metal etching primer on the exposed bare metal. And I propped them up like the way they are up here so you can get underneath, you can see where I've taped it off. The, the, uh, the bed liner is gonna kind of wrap over the top of the, of the box rails, just around a little bit. So. I need to get underneath it a bit. So anyway, I'm gonna mix up another tin, uh, get suited up and uh, spray these in. And tailgate are all nice and dry. Last thing to do is just remove this uh, last bit of masking that I put on here and I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, clean these pins up a little bit and uh, put a little bit of grease on them. Uh, but yeah, it's just a matter now of putting her all together and see what she looks like. All right, we've got uh, everything put back together. Gave the uh, rust on the hinges a little, a little sand with some wet and dry paper. Uh, greased them up and uh, yeah, so anyway, if you look at the line that I did here, you can see there's a little bit of white on the bed. It actually lined up perfectly with the box or the bed rails, I should say. Turned out pretty darn good actually. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the end caps, these get pretty faded and ugly. I just used some mothers back to black. It does seem to bring them back to a little bit of former glory, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So don't forget to tighten up your bolts or install the bolts after you install the bed sides. 
it's just when you mask it, if you do do this, I uh, kept the inside of that uh, tailgate. I left that as is, as the end of the box. You want to make sure you don't paint that as well. But uh, yeah, it goes together beautifully. Still, you know, looking from the outside, it doesn't look like there's any bed liner, no overspray. And I also did sort of wrapped it around the top, over top of the, the bed rail, so it's got some wear resistance there all the way around. Overall, give it a 10 out of 10. Fair bit of work if you want to do it yourself. Uh, you know, I did a lot of sanding, a lot of masking. You know, you could just do it like it is right now, just mask along the top there and spray it in, but uh, I took the time and effort to, to make it look good. So there you go. If you want to do a bed liner install on your little, or spray in on your little Suzuki carry, it's not that difficult and the results are pretty satisfying. Thanks for watching.